talking with Matthew Lachardi and Hector Johnson, uh, two of the stalwarts on the defense. A defense that held Harden Simmons to 95 yards passing and a little over 250 yards overall. Um, Hector, I mean, you guys had just great pressure up front on whoever they were throwing out there at quarterback. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, first and foremost, man, we was out there playing physically, but it was really God I was doing it, man. So you should really be interfering, inter interviewing God, man. All the glory to God, but this is what we do. This is what we train for, and like, thanks to our coaches, we prepared all week. We knew what was at stake. They're a great football team. Got a lot of respect for the guys out there, man, but we know what we can do on the field. We know what we're capable of, so it just came down to just us focusing, doing the right things, taking it step by step, and chopping that tree down one play at a time, and not looking too forward. If it were God, I would have a different set of questions, if that's okay. <laughs> but I get what you're saying. All right, Matthew, tell us, give me, give me your, uh, give me your take on just the amazing performance for you guys defensively today. Yeah, I think this week we knew it was a big game, and we put an emphasis on focus and just focus on what you can do one play at a time. We got a great coaching staff uh, from the top and all the way to it, like the bottom. But Coach McGonigal did a great job with the whole team, and Coach Pop just outstanding defensive coordinator. Got to give it all to him. Got great guys in front of me on the D line. So. I mean, we just all played our asses off and uh, couldn't have been a better game for us. I heard multiple people on the sidelines as the game was winding down saying, of course this game went this way. This was our best week of practice. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, on Monday we, we had a meeting and we just put an emphasis on focus. Like I said, like one day at a time, one practice at a time. And we had a great week of practice. We knew we could beat these guys and the energy within the whole defense and the whole team was great. And we knew if we played our game, we could show everyone in D3 football who we are. I think you guys did that. You guys did that, right? Hey, man. It's just the beginning. We ain't do nothing yet, man. Hopefully we're going to see them later, later on in the year. All right, so that's a real question, right? You guys are four games into the season. You've put out, you know, you had a really close game against Ithaca here a couple of weeks ago that just kind of got away at the end. And then you come up with the, I don't know, the upset of the season clearly so far. And yet you have, you know, 60% of your schedule left, your entire Commonwealth Coast Conference schedule yet to play. What do you do to kind of get back and focus on that when the time comes? Hey man, we just got to keep trusting God, taking it one time, one day at a time. You know, we got to stay healthy for one. Stay healthy. My guy D'Angelo out there, man, but praying for him. Yeah. We're going to stay healthy and just keep showing up every day and just doing the right things. That's all it really takes, man. Like The, the hardest thing every day is just to show up and do the right things. Practice how we want to play and then we're going to see results like this. So we're not going to look too forward. Right now we're going to focus on the next week and we're going to keep chopping at it. Matt, how long do you get to enjoy this before you get to focus on next week? Uh, we celebrate tonight. And we're back to work tomorrow, you know, get healthy. And then uh, we're, we're on to the next game. One week at a time, the whole season. That's how we're going to get through it. Focus on the next opponent. It's Matthew Lachardi and Hector Johnson, two stalwarts on the, on the Endicott Gold defense as they defeated Harden Simmons 37-10. to